Yeah, to have Travis Hill going to uh, to Europe to motorsport games in year two, uh, our inaugural champion, it's uh, it's something we're super proud of. The the momentum, the support we've had from the teams, the fans, the tracks, and the sponsors, yeah, you know, it's been it's been humbling. Um, we're we're just super excited to be given Canadian not only drivers, but teams as well, a place to hone their skills and, the, and to spring, a place to springboard you know, in, onto the international stage at IMSA, SRO, or over into Europe. Uh, we're super excited about it. And, and now to see drivers coming out of FEL Motorsports and, and, and moving on and, and going, competing you know, at a very high level and doing very well on the international stage. And you know, we had Travis Hill and the boys from Tooth led a good part of the IMSA race here uh, just back in July here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park and you know it certainly turned some heads and it was a very proud moment for us as I know it was for every member of Tooth and uh, yeah that's we're we're certainly going in the right direction and I think we're, we're we're walking towards achieving our goals you know one of the keys we feel is is to stay committed to homologated race cars we'll be adding a new class TCA next year but they are homologated yeah, it's awesome, and the fact that you know, even there's even that the fact that there's talk about Olympic about motorsports and Olympics, we could never be done without homologated race cars. Now the cars that are homologated globally uh, can compete with each other wherever they happen to go. And and the thoughts of having all the countries come together, when it first gets mentioned, you think that's kind of crazy. But then you think about it, and it's like, no, it's not. It makes sense. The the technical rules are very clear and defined. And, uh, you know, some teams might have a home field advantage in knowing the tracks a little bit, a small advantage. But uh, I, think it's, I think it's super cool and, and um, you know, it, I think it's helping with the globalization of motorsports in, in general and uh, bringing everybody together and having drivers and teams to be able to travel across borders and compete on, an, on a level playing field, I think it's super cool.